Hello, welcome to my craft room. Thank you for joining me tonight. I just wanted to share a fun card, um, a really cute card I think, um, using the new in, in color, the 2013 to 2015. And it's five beautiful colors that will only be available for those two years. Um, and this set, actually you can buy a bundle where you get um, four of each of these five colors. Uh, of cardstock as well as each of the ink pads for all these the five ink pads for $29.99 what a deal you know I just I love this set so I'm going to be using uh, the pistachio pudding as well as the uh, uh, crisp cantaloupe I never get these names right they sound so delicious though right and then I'm going to be using the baked brown sugar um, ink to go with it oh, doesn't that just sound so delicious, makes you feel like you're baking for, for something. So I won't be actually using everything Eleanor. I've been using the Swirly Bob for, you know, with uh, uh, everything Eleanor. Instead, I'm going to only be using the Large Doily. And it might sound really, really boring, but I just thought it's, it just looked romantic, kind of elegant. So you're going to need a five and a half by what is that eight and a half yeah <laughs> five and a half by eight and a half sheet of piece of paper we're going to just score it right down the middle and i love the scoreboard if you don't have a scoreboard that's okay you can always use our trimmer it has a scoreboard on it i mean a score slicey thingy on it and you could also just fold it in half um use your finger or bone folder to get a good thing i love the way this professional look ends up being so okay. whoops uh Let's have everything fall apart right now. So anyway, there's just a cute little uh, cabinet in there that holds things, and yeah, I'm always accidentally messing things up. So look at that beautiful line. Woo! Beautiful. Gorgeous. So we have our card, and we just need a little script, script, scrapped piece of the crisp cantaloupe, and <laughs> we're going to be doing two of the doilies, actually, um, for our little center flowery bit. So... Here we go, eat that up really nice, just down, press up, and actually I don't have space for another one. So what I could do, since I'm only using the inside flower, is I will pick it up really well, and about center I think is there, voila! And then I have that little flower bit, and I didn't have to use another piece of paper. <sighs> That's awesome. So, because I'll just be cutting that out now. See, look at the things that you can do. Why am I trying to clean this? I'm using it again. Okay, so anyway, I'm always trying to do that, aren't I? So I did, um, obviously, goofed a little bit here, but I thought, you know, it's okay. I, I still think it looks nice. It just looks like the lace is like overlapping. So I did the three corners, and you can use um, a stamp -a jig to make sure it's lined absolutely perfect, um, but I didn't. Um, maybe I'll... <laughs> Maybe I'll do that soon, right? And I'll, I'll show you guys a tutorial on how to use a Stampin' Majig because obviously people like me might need it. But anyway, so we're going to just do um, a few of these corners. All right, so yes, that's what I did. So I started in the corner and um, the other corner. <laughs> oh, great, Deanna. So I just did kind of like a like a middle corner century PC thing, you know, something like this, to try to get that in. And now we're going to look. It looks like in the rubber, if we go in just a little a bit, that's where that's going to start. So let's see if we can do this a little bit better. Overlay about here. Not too bad. Not too great either. I didn't do as much, did I? Yes, I did. Okay. So... Sorry, talking to myself. I'm trying to figure out exactly what look I'm getting here. Okay, so then we're going to go up here and do something similar. So now we just got the corner is all laced and doilied. And you can like totally leave it like that and put like a little sentiment here or just like a little decoration or something, you know. Um, it's just really, really pretty just even like that. But I really wanted the look of both corners. Give it a real bizarre kind of a look. So we're going to do something similar on this side, just lining it up the best that we can. We're definitely doing better than we did the last time, didn't we? Alright, so now we have this fun little cornery bobs. 
and then we can put our little center swirly bits in the middle there. So get this all cleaned up. I love these ink pads. They are so fantastic. Um, the way that they just easily go right on your stamp so you don't have to like smash down to get all the ink on. It's just, I love it. I think it's wonderful. So um, what I'm going to do here, now I could painstakingly cut this out, but I have a two and three eighths scallop circle and I, <laughs> I wanted to see if I could just kind of line it up. Now it's not quite absolutely perfect. Um, I, I did get like a few of, of the, the scallop circles. A few of them are in there okay, a few are chopped off. I don't know why, I still think it looks nice and I feel like with the edge, it just, it, it really looks good. And you can sponge the edges, um, which I'll be showing you um, some fun stuff you can do doing that um, very soon. But um, I don't know, I just... I think it looks nice like this. So um, I went ahead and left it like this. Um, you can do whatever you feel like. And then I cut out the little piece. I'm not going to make you watch me cut it out. So we're just going to lay the flyer, flower there. I like to cut out the loops. Um, that way it looks like a perfect little flower. And then we are going to use our stabby poker guy, you know, the piercing tool. And um, I just took the biggest pearl that I found on my little sheet of pearls and I stab it so that I can get the glue dot. Otherwise the glue dot, if you use your nail or something, it can just decide to not be a part of it anymore. It wants freedom, right? But we don't want this to have freedom. So anyway, yep, that's what I did. So now we've got a really cute little flower doily. And you know what, I forgot. I wanted to decorate the inside. Way to go, Deanna. Whoops. So if you see, I only did the corner here um, but this time I was thinking I might switch it up a little bit and I want to do just a little lacy on the bottom. So I'm going to just do a very small bit of lace just on the bottom here just to have a nice little even swishy bobs to go all across. So I think that looks nice. So we're going to do that. <laughs> See, sometimes you plan, you're like, yeah, I'm going to make sure that I do everything in the right order at the right time and then you're going, you're like, you know, I know I'm going to miss something. And I did. Thank you for your patience. So, <laughs> got that. And now we're going to use our Stampin' Dimensionals. Smack these babies on down. I tend to like not like woobly wobbly kind of puffed up things. So sometimes I use a little more. I know some people would only put maybe like three on these or so, but I like to get them around the edge and then right in the middle there. So we're going to just try to peel these off as fast as possible. <laughs> these Stampin' Dimensionals are actually rather old and so I've been having trouble with them. I, I've got some new ones but I'm almost done with these really really old ones that I, I got from um, an old demonstrator. So it's just kind of, <laughs> yeah, it's been sitting in her craft room for a couple of years and so I'm <laughs> It's, yeah, you know, here we go. Sorry about this. I would have had this already, but Deanna just didn't think of that, did she? No. All right, so, you know, we learn. You know, we learn as we go along, right? I'm very, very much new at this. <laughs> so here we go. So I'm just going to line it up, um, kind of paying attention to these last doilies here. Um, just line it up. I think that looks great. Press. Press and pronto, no, presto, ta-da, that's better, it's much easier to say, and we are finished. So, um, thank you for joining me, I hope that you'll come back, I do have one more card in the series that I'm going to be doing, um, and I hope you really like this kind of style, it's, you know, I will be trying to do some other styles, so if this is so not your style, don't worry, I'll try to do some other fun stuff, and, you know, hopefully there will be something that everybody likes, I hope. So, anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and... Please stop by again. Thank you. Goodbye.